Right guys, welcome down to the Quest Golf Academy and we're going to be doing another FSX Skills Challenge. And I'm going to be doing a very slightly different one, a very slightly different one, a slightly different one today. I'm going to be doing it using only one club and that is a 7 iron. Now, this is in response to a few comments about the last FSX Skills Challenge that I did where I used basically a multitude of different clubs uh, from the bags here. And I was adapting my 7 iron to hit loads of different shots and what I wanted to do was basically do one of the skills challenges today and showing you how you can adapt certain clubs to hit certain shots, certain distances, but also how you can use it to test out your creativity and ball striking and all loads of other stuff as well. And that's what we're going to have a go at. Now the club that I've chosen to do this challenge with is a 7 iron and it's the Epic Pro iron. Now this is a compact headed design, quite a strong loft and it flies forever. And I'm also using the TP5 ball, the tailor made. Now these two in conjunction should give me a chance when I get to the longer shots to actually hit target. The shorter shots, I think, are gonna be the biggest challenge here, especially the one over the glass wall. Now, I've only got my vlogging camera with me, so guys who haven't seen the FSX Skill Challenge before, there's 14 stations ranging from five points to one point if you hit the target, and I think my best score so far is 44. I very much doubt I'm gonna be able to beat that with just my seven iron, but hey ho, we'll give it a go. So I'll record the screen, record on this phone, phone, camera, let's see how we get on. Right then, first shot, 10 yards. Um, these first two shots are gonna be tricky, so it's hands back, just try to add a little bit of loft here and it's literally just a, a tap into the screen here with the seven just trying to stop it anywhere in that target come on let's get a five if we can go on go in go in get it <laughs> i think that i pulled that last time as well well it's obviously my shot um this one is just like ridiculous um over the wall, 20 yards, hands low, just gonna try and flick it up. Uh, trying to sneak around the side, <laughs> obviously. Um, general tip here, with a 20 yard flop shot, just use your log wedge, no real need to use a 7 eight. Uh 30 yards, this is gonna be a tricky one. Just try and tap it up there. Go on, go on, go on. Okay. Got a couple of five pointers early on. This is setting me in good stead. Get a couple more of these, that'll be good. 60 yards. Here we go, come on. Very similar type of swing, a little bit further on. A bit too short, is it? No, no, oh, sit, 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 sit. Too short, wow, it took a big bounce. So five zero five zero. Keep all that. I'll be in the points. Uh, Eighty five. Mm, that's a tricky number. It's the same shot as I just did. There. Oh, I'll get it in the hitting zone, Pete. Come on. How long have you been doing this for? I'm going to say that was perfect. That was a five points as well. Sit down, sit, sit. Absolutely ripped that. Right, come on. Let's get back on the ball. That was a bad shot, actually. I was disappointed. I need to hit that shot now. Same length of swing. Come on. Scamper on, scamper on. It's hitting in the fairway. You need to hit it further. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry you had to bear witness to what's just happened. Right, 120, come on, look at that great start. 22, come on, 120. Now, nice and soft for me. Go on, scamper up, get in, get in, get in. Come on, five points of nothing. So I have to get into a zone here where I've got a little bit more um, chance, I think. Uh, 150, I'm going to grip down on this epic 7 and just slide her in there. Turn for me, turn for me, go on, get the 3, get the 1. I 
Just one? Yeah, just one. Mm. I thought I would have done better than that. 165. So just a smooth swing here. Don't need to give this club any more. It looks very hot. Go on then, big kick in. Go on, go on, go on. So one problem with this iron and this ball combo, as I start to get to the longer distances, it's gonna help me, but it comes out with so little spin. It's so hard to actually pitch it all the way. This is 180, so this is gonna be a fullish swing. It's gonna allow me to carry that bit more distance. Sit down! Sit! So I mean, it's just like continually firing on. So hard to judge. I mean, backspin there was only 4,200. 4, wow. Um, okay, uh, 200 yards. So this is like a normal swing here. It's a push there. I'm going to do very well to get near that. That was a pushy, horrible strike. Eased off it. Oh, Peter. Schoolboy error. 250, right? Come on, hit it like you mean it. Left. It's right and left. I've kind of confused myself here. I'm like trying to ease off it too much. It's all in the head. All in the head. Right, 2.30, now, oh, I'm gonna get two, well, three points to beat my target. So I'm gonna to have to aim kind of a little bit right here. Just gonna try and close the face moving in. Just try and get a little bit of a draw. Try and get releasing up to the hole here. to hit it harder than that. Right, so final shot is the drive. So I've got to get this 200 yards. Five to beat, well five to really smash it, three to really do it. Come on. Same swing, but give it a little bit more. Let's get a strike here. bit toey. Go though, go on. Go, 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 go. Just that bit toey. Silly ideas. <laughs> well, what started with such high hopes ended in disappointment, but 20 points with that one, seven nine, not too bad. Just confused myself a little bit with the distance um, as I got further on but I quite like doing challenges like that I'll just close all this down uh, I quite like doing challenges like that every now and again because it just it just engages the mind in a different way you know it makes you a little bit more creative in some respects and that's quite hard to do I find when you're just at a driving range and certainly being more creative with the type of stuff that you're doing is going to enable you to have a greater variety of shots and that's really what I'm going for. I just wish I would have executed them a little bit better. So I'll be doing another FSX skills challenge next week, like a proper one, uh, but the range is closing, so I've got to go. Make sure that you stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on my other social media platforms as well. I'll see you down here next time.